speak to Iris Fenn Gillingham. She's joining me now from Boulder, Colorado, and she serves as the Regional Youth Director for Earth Guardians in New York. Iris, good to have you with us. Um, there's clearly a lot of momentum now building behind this COP24 conference and a lot of talk about uh, what countries, businesses, people need to do to reduce the impact of climate change. How can we quantify how climate change is affecting countries? I think what we are trying to do in this country, at least as young people, and now around the world seeing young people step up, is that we are seeing that this issue cannot be separated from the people, and it has to bring in everybody, no matter your age, race, religion, or belief, that we have to be looking at how these issues are affecting people's lives right now, not tomorrow, but today. There are wildfires happening, there are floods, there are storms. My I have personally felt the effects of flooding on my family's farm, and I know what it's like to live through that. And so seeing this happening around the world, seeing the effects that climate change are having, it's devastating, and it's something that we have to decide as a world to take action on. That means cultural shifts, just transitions, towards renewable energy, making conscious choices, because every impact we have in the world has an effect. Uh, trying to get the message through to everyone, though, uh, is difficult, isn't it? Because uh, the UN, for example, calling for a move away from fossil fuels. But, you know, uh, you're in a country that, uh, where fossil fuels comprise a, a large sector of the US workforce. And you also have a president who has vowed to help that workforce. So how do you change attitudes? I think it's really hard to bring this conversation about, but it is dire, it is so important for us to be looking at it. And when you think about weighing the effects of fossil fuel extraction on our communities, it has such a huge impact. I've had the opportunity to travel to Houston, Texas, where there's a 50 mile stretch of nonstop petrochemical plants and oil refineries. And when you look at it, it looks devastating. But then when you look closer, you see that in between those big petrochemical plants are little houses, schools, and playgrounds. And that's when you have to realize that, is this really worth it? Is our addiction to fossil fuels worth the effects and health issues that it is causing on our lives, our families? So it's really hard to think that our, as a young person, like our administration right now is not taking action. But what is incredible are the people in this country, the communities, the people on the front lines of these fights who are feeling the effects of fossil fuel extraction that are stepping up and saying no, that are taking action and really saying that we have elected officials in office that aren't doing this, so the people have to become the leaders right now. Iris, great to hear your passion there. Iris Fenn Gillingham speaking to us live from Boulder, Colorado.